Right, I'm fitting uh, an inline extractor fan. And uh, this is how I do it. So, I must admit, the idea of building it up, the years I spent in lofts doing it, um, and then I saw Jay on Instagram. He, uh, he just a simple thing of make the board up, put down you know, below the ceiling in one of the rooms or out by your van, and then just take the whole thing up as a unit into the loft and fix it down. I know it's so simple, but I hadn't thought of that. Years I spent fixing all this up in the loft. Anyway, thanks Jay for that. <coughs> so I'm gonna put rubber grommets on the wood. So a few rubber grommets between the wood and the joists to aid via the, the um, um, to aid, aid the reduction of vibration. I do the same on the actual fan itself. So rubber grommets underneath the uh, fan fixings. You can use like strips of um, rubber you can get, like rubber matting, you could do that as well. <coughs> um, I've got my four core flex ferruled up and in the fused switch isolator, or fused, fused connection unit, sorry, up here. Ferruled into the top of the fan here. And then something that I don't see many other people doing is I put um, a condensate trap. You can get it for like a tenner, um, or a little bit more than a tenner, I think. Condensate trap. So this will stop any moisture running back down the extra the extract like the pipe whether you use solid or you use like insulated flexi duct um any moisture that comes back down so the fan doesn't draw it out and when cold meets hot you get moisture basic physics it will it dribbles back and normally you get it you'll see it quite commonly in people when they've got like wall fans or axial fans mounted on the ceiling it can't draw the moisture away and it pulls around the outside of the fan anyway you get a condensate trap which comes with a little like 21.5 or uh, push fit um, uh, entry hole where I put a little bit of condensate pipe up in and then I'll do like a 90 or um, depending on where, I've got to cut this down of course. So this will, sit, this will sit on the joists and then I'll probably do like a 90 like here or 45 to one of the nearest joists and then clip it along at a, at a gentle level or sorry, a gentle slope, and then when it gets to the um, soffit or the fascia board, drill a 20 mil hole and then poke it out. So any moisture that's gathered um, or that collects, it won't pull and go back into the fan or back into the ceiling, and back down the duct, you know, and down through the grill. So yeah, it's the way I do it. Um, I'm gonna take this up into the loft now and I'll set up the camera and you can watch me do the final little bits, but yeah. So, I'm up in the loft now, or in the extension, loft extension. Uh, right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue this nightly on, and then that's gonna go in the push fit bit underneath there. I'm gonna 90 degree it that way to hit this joist. And then I'm gonna put, do another 90, I might even do another 45 somewhere, just to make the, drop or the slope a little bit nicer you know something like that so 90 down to the hit the joist you know it's a bit bright there but yeah 90 degree down get towards the joist 45 there so and then it'll run straight or slope gently towards the facial board and i'll drill out and poke it out that way um, got the glue, forgot to say, proper duct tape as well. I got some insulated ducting gonna go in. Uh, the There's gonna be a roof um, vent tile put in. Um, 100 mil, but that's not in yet. So I'm gonna do the bit, just hang out the ceiling in the bathroom, and then I'll do a, leave a little, like, I don't know, half a meter or something here. Try and keep it as small as possible, and try and not do so many, like, bends as well to help with the, the airflow. Um, and then I'll, I'll insulate, I'll use proper duct, duct tape um, across all the joints here and here and then on my outgoing and the incoming bit there. So let me get this on. I'll probably put you on a time lapse and I'll chat in a second.
Right. Lucky for me, they haven't boarded this part of the bathroom yet, which has made it slightly easier, I'll admit, slightly easier to, uh, to do this. But you can see now I've got my my 90, then I've got a 45 just there, and then it runs down, a couple of clips all the way out to, uh, you can see, out the facial board, and then any condensation now will run down that pipe then, and then I've got my, my uh, insulated flexi duct as short as possible, but it'll be a nicer bend there once the ceiling goes in. <clears throat> and then the drip, the grill's just got to go on up there. So I'm just going to do the other half. Put a, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll do like a meter or something. And then wherever the builder decides to put his vent, he can, I'll leave some duct tape and he can duct tape, up, duct tape it up. Or it'll probably be me actually, because I've got to come back and do a couple of little bits. So yeah. And that is how you do, in my opinion, inline fans. Um, the, the proper way, in my opinion, to get rid of the, any moisture as well, it, it, out of a, a condensate um, pipe as well. <coughs> as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew. So, uh, just got to put a couple of clips in here, maybe a clip down and a P clip on that flex. Duct in, um, duct tape here, duct tape here on the inner bit and on the outer bit. So you sleeve the inner bit over the 100 mil opening and then the outer bit. Um, I've left like about a meter, so hopefully, yeah. it'll probably be me, but if, when the builder comes, he can cut it down to suit, but wherever he wants to put the, uh, the roof tile vent, he can, he can do so. Let's get down from here. Now I'm not, I'm no plumber, so some plumbers might look at that condensate pipe and go, fucking hell, fucking hell. It's just something that I like to do that can help. And it wouldn't be no, no real test until I did something like that. That's the only real way to test fans, isn't it? It's good to me. Nice. God, look at that. Don't stand under any lights, Lawrence. Look. Thinning right out on top. We're gonna get a complex soon. 